guys so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial um, yeah I've been wanting to do this look forever and I just did not have like did not have the motivation basically to actually do this so I finally managed to record this and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy let me know what you guys think of it I'm going to start off with my Maybelline color tattoo as base and this is in 05 Eternal Gold. I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush and just uh, dab it onto my lids. Make sure you have it even all over your eyelids um, because it will be very important. You don't want it to be clumpy on your lids because it will show in the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take a darker color, which is 35 on and on bronze from the same line. And I'm just going to use the same shader brush and just put that a little bit on the inner, um, the outer eye corner of my eyelids. This way it will create that darker effect for your eyeshadows. And then I'm going to get my Vera Valenti palette that I got in my glossy box this um, past month and I'm going to use that as a, a color in my inner tear duct and it will just highlight my eyes a lot. You can use any white type of um, shadow and I'm going to use my Naked 2 palette. And I will just use a eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go into YDK. I'm going to dab that on um, all over my lids. Make sure you don't uh, wipe it all over because it will have a lot of fallout. And this way it will minimize the fallout onto your cheeks. So have that all over your lids. Make sure it's even. And then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to go into busted and that will be my crease color and you have to make sure that it's really blended well so it blends with YDK and it will look like it's just one shadow but um, more emphasized and as you can see I'm slowly creating a more of a um, wing shape for my eyeshadow which Blake Lively has in her um, Gucci commercial and just blend 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 that very well and I'm going to you can go back into busted if you want um, it depends on how intense you want the color if you think you have a little bit too much you can just try to wipe it a little bit away using your fingers I'm still going to go into busted and I'm going to use that on my lower lash line and yeah just make sure you have it on your lower lash line um, don't go too much under it because you do not want panda eyes or maybe you do it depends on what look you're going for I'm going to use my blending brush that I got in my Naked 2 palette I'm going to go into T's and that's uh, more of a matte shadow and I'm going to tone down the shimmer a little bit and start creating that um, wing eyeshadow that she has in her Gucci um, um, advert and um, hers look like it's a very um, shadow like wiped away from her eyes and I'm just going to try to create that same effect which is going to be done with tees and as you can see it looks uh, very much like hers right now and then I'm going to use booty call as my um, brow highlight just going to take that a little bit under my under my brows um, just to highlight that area if you don't have the Urban Decay Naked palette, any other similar eyeshadow will do. And I'm going to take a coal eyeliner, and this one is by Lancome, and it's just a black eyeliner. I'm going to take it inside my um, uh, lash line, and then I'm going to take my NYC High Definition Liquid Liner in 889 Extra Black, and I'm just going to line my 
um, upper lash line with this um, just to intensify my lashes and it will look like I have fake lashes on um, and just um, you can skip this step if you're not comfortable with it but I would recommend doing it um, or you can put on a fake lashes and it will kind of create the same effect but you will have to fill in um, a little bit on the inner corners and outer corners so it won't look like actually really fake and I'm going to curl my lashes very important and I'm going to go in with my uh, Lancome Hypnose Dull Eyes Mascara and this is in black and I'm just going to coat put a few coats on and yeah you can use any mascara you want um, I find I love this mascara this is one absolutely one of my favorites um, yeah it I feel like it does give my um, lashes a dull eye effect and I'm going to go in with on my lower lashes as well because you do not want your lower lashes to be forgotten um, consider it is a bit of an intense look and now I'm going to start contouring and this is my Benefit Hoola bronzer this is just a sample I'm just going to use a normal blush brush um, to do the contouring and make sure you just start building it up because you do not want um, blotchy brown spots on your face obviously and um, yeah so slowly build it up you don't want to put too much uh, on at once because it then it will be really hard to blend that out and just put a little bit contour wherever you normally contour basically and yeah don't forget the temples and then I'm going to just do a little bit more on my cheeks obviously and yeah and then I'm going to go in in my L'Oreal Glam Bronze and this is in 03 medium and I'm going to put that on the contours of my cheeks as well just to emphasize it a little bit more um, because her, her cheeks are very defined in her um, advert and um, I don't want it to look as harsh as hers does because um, I don't know hers is advertorial and yeah when there is photos in for adverts that's much more acceptable I guess than using it normally and now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Le Blush in 165 Rosy Cheeks um, make sure you just put that on your um, apples of your cheeks and make sure you blend it a little bit downwards to where your bronzer is so it looks like a smooth transition and then I'm going to take my e.l.f. studio blush in Giddy Gold and I'm just going to take that all over both my bronzer and my blush just to give that a little bit of a gold shimmer and gold glow to my cheeks and I'm going to take a little bit on to the bridge of my nose as well and that's what I think is done and then I'm going to take my lips and I'm going to use my Kryolan Glossy Box Lipstick in Glossy Pink and yeah it's a nice rosy color I think and to take my Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in 110 Rose Sorbet I'm just going to put that a little bit on the um, inner lips and this will just pops a little bit more and so that's it for the entire look okay so that was the entire makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed and any requests leave them down below and thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys